So the Cowboys went out publicly before training camp began. You had Stephen Jones come out and be like, listen, we have an open competition at center and this, that, and a third. And I understand why. You go back and look at that 49ers playoff game, in fact, all of 2021, and you can see that the weakest link on that offensive line was Tyler Biotish, in my personal opinion. There were moments where he did very well, but other moments where he just... He needs to step up, and I'm going to just be honest here. The Cowboys can definitely get someone better than Tyler Biotish. Now, on their roster, they have an individual by the name of Matt Farniak who has been talked a lot in training camp preseason and even in the last game of the regular season in 2021 versus Philadelphia. He saw some snaps, and it really went to show that you have a guy that can definitely help bring you power to your offensive line. So that's what we're going to talk about and kind of what I'm feeling about this center position because this is going to be the most important part of this offensive line. I understand that we talked about all the other position groups. The left guard's important. Your right tackle's important. But if your center, the brains of the operation isn't good, your offensive line isn't going to be good or maybe not as good as you think it will be. So before we get started with today's video, if you could do me a favor, like the video. It doesn't take too long to do whatsoever, and it's greatly appreciated. Next, subscribe if you are new. The main reason I'm asking you to subscribe is about 55-57% of you guys watching aren't subscribed. So if you don't want to miss out on more content and you keep coming back, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, with that out of the way, I need to first start off with Tyler Biotish. Now, what is really the biggest deal with Tyler Biotish, and why am I not really a big proponent of him remaining the starter? Well... It's not like the guy is, like, trash. I want to make that emphatically clear. The problem is, is you can do better. The biggest issue I had with Tyler, like I mentioned, is that he does not showcase the ability to exert himself on a defense when it comes to getting to that second level, number one, but number two, just being able to handle the guy in front of him. Hence why you had Connor Williams getting a lot of penalties last year. I went back watch some of the games and there were moments where you know Connor Williams is literally trying to hold the guy that Tyler Biotish couldn't get and that resulted in a holding penalty and that's really bad and then on top of that you had your right guard calling pass protections as opposed to your center and you might be saying oh space that's not that big of a deal well it is because your center is supposed to be the conductor of your offensive line, right? He's the one that's communicating to the guys to his left and right, and those guys communicate to the guys on their sides. And so there is a massive problem if your center is unable to call out what's going to happen. Because when we had Travis Frederick, a lot of people took that for granted because Travis Frederick was the best center in football because he was able to conduct the offensive line accordingly, and you saw that. Yes, I'm, you know, I understand that the Cowboys have had moments where even with Travis Frederick, like, it didn't look good, but that was more so an ability issue rather than it being, like, an actual, like, you have everybody on there, but something's wrong type of thing. Now, with that... When you have a guy in Matt Farniak who, by the way, um, you know, you're trying to look for guys that can give you value outside of the first round, right? It's one thing to draft a guy in the first round, but it's another thing if you can draft offensive linemen or get undrafted free agents that can produce at a nice level, so then you're not giving away high draft capital unless that's the best player on the board. I'm a huge proponent of that. So when you look at how the Cowboys have constructed their offensive line, you have three first-round picks on it, you have a fourth-round pick, and then you have an undrafted free agent, and Terrence Steele. So the reason why that's a big deal is because I'm not expecting every single individual to be a Zach Martin, an all-pro, a pro bowl. I'm just asking for you to do your job. Tyler Biotish has had multiple times where I'm like, dude, you got to do better. As for Matt Farniak, he's been showing in these preseason games, even with some of the starters in on the opposing defense, he looks really damn good. You know, there are moments where he's aware of what exactly is going on and like he's able to put smart blocks, overpower the dude in front of him, and that is really what's key. Now, if, if I'm being completely honest with you, I really want to see in the final preseason game the starters and Matt Farniak taking first team reps because we, you know what you're getting with Tyler Biotish. I think he's already peaked as a player, but with Matt Farniak, he hasn't gotten a lot of playing time. Now, 
I'm not asking for the dude to be the next Travis Frederick. I'm just asking, hey, can you at least do things better than Tyler Biotish? Which, if the Cowboys can get average to above average center play, I think their offensive line is really set. And let's say that Matt Farniak ends up being a solid starter for you. You could end up, hey, we got our starting center now. And that's really the biggest thing is you want to try and find your main guys and stick with them. Because cohesion is a huge thing. And that's why you're trying to figure out who your starter is. Because if you don't figure out who your starter is in week one, you don't want to be in a situation where it's like, okay, well, like, you know how we were having that conversation with uh, Connor Williams last year? Oh, Connor Williams, he's so penalized or he keeps getting held, you know, or all this other crap. You place another guy in there that isn't ready and now you're playing musical chairs. You don't want to have that happen again. So if the Cowboys are truly doing their due diligence, they take a look at the film and they say to themselves, you know what? I personally think that we got ourselves a nice little center here and Matt Farniak that can get the job done and on the cheap too. That's number one. But number two, we got a guy that's going to be cohesive with this unit and we're not going to have any problems because I want you to go back and look at the film. I understand that it's two preseason games and I'm not overreacting to that, but it's very apparent that when you had Tyler Biotish in at center, that offensive line was not really doing its thing. You know, take the penalties out of it. That offensive line wasn't as effective in running the ball. You go into the next preseason game a lot better. And Matt Farniak took considerable amount of snaps in that game. So I'm really interested to see what the Cowboys do with the center spot because you got to keep your quarterback upright and you can't afford to do what you did last year. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. I mean, do you guys like Farniak? Do you like Tyler Biotish, whoever? I know that there was a big talk about Lindstrom. Now, Lindstrom, he hasn't been really looking like the it factor where I'm like, okay, give him some second team reps and see how things go. But I am at least not as worried that god forbid we have an issue at center where it's like the guy goes down like you have a guy at least that can do the job like i'm not trying to sit here and say that tyler biotish is like shit what i'm saying is is and I, that's why my biggest thing was when we like were in draft season i was like i wanted linderbaum before the whole situation with him where he's getting injured and stuff like that which you can't predict the reason why i wanted a center was because of the reason why i talked about with tyler biotish so let's see if we got something i mean i don't know but i am really curious to hear what you guys got to say now before we leave thank you so much for reaching the end of this video you're a real mvp for that make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell on the way out if you want to check some of my content currently by all means wait till the end screen and you'll see some of the latest videos and the playlist so you can catch up and uh yeah that pretty much sums it up guys i will catch you guys later have a great rest of your day mm -hmm.